Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the solution to the lead code problem possible by partition. So in this problem we're given a set of n people, so we have n people and we want to split everyone into two groups of any size, so this any size. Now, uh, each person may dislike some other person, so they should not go in the same group. So dislikes of i were given a 2D array. Uh, where two people, if they are in the same array, meaning that they dislike each other. So if uh, A or B are in the same array, then A or B cannot be in the same group, they dislike each other. And so we only have to partition everyone into two groups. Uh, we can look at this example here. So we have 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 4. So 1 doesn't like 2, so 1 and 2 are separate. 1 doesn't like 3, so 1 and 3 are separate. 2 doesn't like 4, so 2 and 4 are separate. So group 1 can be this, group 2 can be this. So very simple problem as we only have to separate them into two groups. So we'll just look at this example and see some approaches. So this is the dislikes array, meaning that the people who dislike each other. Let's just use Java. Yeah. So these are the people who dislike each other. Now, uh, my what I thought earlier was what we can do is one and two dislike each other. So first of all, we can have two groups. So we can have group one and we can have group two. So one and two dislike each other, so obviously they have to be in the, they don't get to be in the same group, they have to be in different groups. So one can be here, two can be here. Now I come to one and three, and so one is already in a group and three doesn't want to be in the same group as one. So three comes here. Now four and two, two is already in a group and four doesn't want to be in the same group as two, so four comes here. So what I thought, thought is you can just manually run a loop and if uh, two person are not in any group, uh, then we can just put them into different groups. And if one of them is, a, is in a group, then we can put the other into a different group. But this approach won't work. And I'll tell you why. So suppose I have 1, 2, and I have 3, 4, and I have 1, 3. So 1 and 2 have to be in the different groups. So 1 is here, 2 is here. Now, uh, 3 and 4 have to be in the different group, so I put 3 here because no condition and 4 I can put here. Uh, 4 I can put here. But uh, 2 and 4 cannot be in the same group, so our answer will be false. But is the answer false? No, the answer is true. How is that? So what we can do is 1 and 2 don't want to be in the same group, fine. I can do 1 and 2. 1 and 3 don't want to be in the same group, so I can do 2 and 3. And 2 and 4 don't want to be in the same group, so I can do 1 and 4. So this is, you can see, a possible answer for this given test case. 1, 2, 1, 3, and 2, 4. So 1, 4 are together, and 2, 3 are together, and nobody who doesn't want to be in the other group in, with someone else is not. So uh, this is a condition satisfied. This is a condition satisfied example. So what I mean is that we have to look at all of the cases at once. For example, 1 may have 1, 2, and then we have 3, 2, 3 and then we have 5, 6 and then later on one can also have later on one can also have 1, 5 later on one can also have 1, 7 so my point is when we are searching for one then all the person one doesn't like have we have to take care of them at once so 2, 5 and 7 and then one all of the person who 2 doesn't like we have to take care of them at once so 1, 3 and like that so this is nothing but an adjacency list representation of a graph. So we'll be solving this by considering people or people as nodes on the graph. So idea is we'll come across a node or a person. So we'll have two groups again, group one and two. That will be the same in our approach. So we have group one and group two. Now what we're going to do is we come across a node. We're going to use BFS. So we take that node and we put it in a queue. And after putting it in a putting it in the queue, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I take 1 and I put it in a queue. Now all the person 1 doesn't like, I, I now I take 1 out of the queue and put in and take in all the person who 1 doesn't like. And afterwards, I just, whatever those person are, their group will be the opposite of 1. So I'll just make all of their groups the opposite of 1. Then afterwards, if 1 or the person he doesn't like are in the same group, then the answer is false. Otherwise, the answer will be true. So it will make more sense as I code it. So like I said, we'll be doing this with graph using BFS. And the idea for that was that we had to find all of the persons that one person doesn't like and that can be used as adjacent to list representation. So for the list representation, we'll just use a list of list of integer. 
and uh, we'll just call it graph because we're having a graph so it will be a new uh, array list new array list of uh, size n plus 1 because people are from uh, 1 to n not 0 to n minus 1 so the size will be n plus 1 and then we'll have uh, int or we'll have a group so array so group of i will tell the group that the person is in so group will be new int and it will also have the size n plus 1 and initially all the people will be in group 0 which is meaning that we haven't put them in any group so group 1 and group 2 now we just need to uh, add the person we just have to make the adjacency list so first we'll just create so it doesn't go it doesn't give null point exception so i less than equal to n i plus plus and then graph dot add new array list of integer so this is just filling up with empty array list so it doesn't give no point exception when we actually add something in our list now the simple thing less than equal to uh, n or dislike dot length less than equal to dislike dot length uh, i plus plus so with this what we're doing is uh, so dislikes of 0 doesn't like dislikes dislikes of i of 0 doesn't like dislikes of i of 1 so in the in the adjacency list of dislikes of i of 0 we'll put in dislikes of i of 1 and with 1 we'll put in 0 so simple so meaning that in graph dot get dislikes of i of 0 dot add uh, dislike of i of 1 so 0 doesn't dislike 0 doesn't like 1 1 doesn't like 0 so both of them be will be in their adjacency list will be in each other's adjacency list so I'll just copy it and in 1 we have 0 so 1 doesn't like 0 0 doesn't like 1 and we have a we'll have a queue like we usually have uh, for our UE which we usually have for doing BFS and we'll just name it queue so it will be a new linked list of uh, integer but we don't need to write that so now we can just uh, work on the people so uh, less than n i plus plus so we're going to look at each people then we're going to look at all the people they dislike and we'll put everyone in some group so first of all if the person is uh, not in any group only then we need to worry otherwise we don't need to bother so if group of i meaning is equal to zero meaning that the person is not in any group so i'll just write it down uh, group of uh, group is equal to zero groups are i'll just write down groups are one and two group if group is zero then meaning they're not in any group so if group of i is zero then what we need to do is uh, we need to add that person to our queue so queue dot offer i so now we've uh, like added this guy to our queue and then we'll look at all the people he dislikes uh, so first uh, we need to make his group as one so we need to group uh, group him so i'll just give him one randomly then i've added them to i've added him to my queue now while not queue dot is empty so we'll keep on doing it while queue is not empty meaning all the persons are not so while not queue is empty what i'm going to do is i'm going to say int q is equal to q dot four. So whatever person is in the front of the queue, I'll take him out and I'll deal with his dislikes. So uh, his dislikes are uh, in the list graph dot get of you. So graph of that get of you is the list of all the people he dislikes. So what I'm going to do with the people he dislikes is that I'm going to put them in the opposite group as he is. So if he's in one, I'll put them in two. If he's in two, I'll put them in one. And that I'll do if they're already not in any group. So if group of t is equal to zero, they're not in any group. Then uh, if group of u is equal to one, then we'll put the person he ate, he hates in two. And if he's in two, then we'll put the person he hates in one. Then we add this person, this is group. Then we add this person to our queue. And then we'll deal with his dislikes. So q dot of uh, j. So why am I considering this group of i group of i 
So why am I considering the opposite of group of you when I already put I as one here? So for the first person, group his group will be one. For the other people, group may not be one. That's why we have to check and uh, put the person he dislikes in the opposite group. So if group of you is one, then we'll put the person he hates in two. If he is in group two, then we'll put the person he hates in group one. And finally, we'll add the person into our queue. Now, here comes the main thing. So, if group of J is zero and there's one more condition, suppose that J, the person you hates, is already in a group. So, if he's already in a group and he's in the same group as you, then our condition will not be satisfied because they're already in the same group. So, group of if group of U is equal to group of U is equal to group of J. So, according to everything, if uh, they're in the same group, then we can no longer like have the people in two groups satisfying our condition. So then we return false. So we take out U, we deal with all the person he hates and if the person he hates is already in his group, then we return false because it is not possible to divide the person in that case. Otherwise, all well and good, we can divide the person because there is no uh, problem which like counters our condition. So otherwise, we can simply return true. And that's all, let's just try to run it. Compile error, return statement. Where did I return it? I returned it inside the loop. Okay, and so the idea of BFS that we got was from the thing that each person will have his dislikes list. So that somewhere reminds us that uh, this person, that this can be solved using adjacency list or this have has a play of adjacency list in it. And using BFS, uh, one node, we go to all or the, all the neighbors of one node. So here using, a, using BFS, from one person, we go to all the person he dislikes and deal with them. So that's why we use BFS. So that's all. Thank you. And one more thing guys, do subscribe to my channel. I plan to do a lot more lead code problems and hopefully I'll be doing all the main lead code problems, interview problems. So stay tuned. Thank you.